Hello! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Sam here. Today, I'm going to bring you a handsome video of E360 VR camera. Before we go any further, I'd like to say this handsome video was shot about three months ago. Of that, E Technology slightly updated the design. They moved the label into the hatch and removed the gap around the lens, now separated. He also changed the bag packaging to white, but nothing changes inside. Without further ado, let's get started. This is the black package. The official one you get from E Technology might be white. To be honest, I personally feel black color because I just like it. So this is the E360 VR camera itself. We got tripod, battery, leather bag, and a manual. Now. Let's take a close look at E360 VR. When you handhold it, it feels rugged and durable. On the top, there's an OLED screen with two navigation buttons. The two sides are 220 degree dual lens with Ambrian H2V95 chipset enables to shoot 5.7K 30fps and 4K 30fps in advanced world stitching. What's a 4K live streaming? I would say it is at least one of the most powerful 360 VR cameras out there on the market. There is a mic on the lens, an indicator on the mic, the same on the other side. We can see a speaker less in the middle frame. Below is the battery compartment. We we'll later open it up. On the other side of the middle frame, there is a power button, long press to turn on. Now let's open the compartment. We got an HDMI port, SD slot, Type-C connection and the place for the battery. The battery is 3.85 wattage, 1440 milliamp. It lasts about 60 minutes when in 4K water staging shooting mode. Hmm, good. Let's check out what's inside the camera. Long press to turn on. It reminds you to choose the location the first time turn on, so I choose China and press power button to confirm. For Wi-Fi, we choose 5G, it's more stable and faster. E360 VR camera supports photo video and time-lapse mode. You can go to the photo or video settings and the system settings to choose whatever you want. By the way, recently the voice command has been added to the camera and you can choose to switch on and give voice commands. E take a photo. E begin recording. E stop recording. E turn off. It has a Bluetooth function and supports the remote controller from E. And you know what? It supports live streaming. Next, I'm gonna show you how to live. First, download E360 from Google Play or App Store and install. Go to the home page. Power on E360 VR and make sure the Wi Fi is on. Check out the Wi Fi SSID and the password. To click the middle button, it will automatically ask you to fill in. And when you put the Wi Fi password, then it's on. You can slide the interface to look in 360 degree. The stitching is great. Let's click into the settings to see what we have here. And the app is still in early beta, so there are tons of interesting features on the development. Now let's go live. Click the icon on the top right corner and think what the steps one by one and you will be successful. It's a PC. When I try the accessories that come with the package, the tripod and there's a standard quarter thread at the bottom, so you can use it with other accessories and the selfie stick and strap address. The leather case is to protect the lens from scratching. The type C cable is for charging transferring data and external mic. Enough about that. I will upload all kinds of video footage from E360 VR camera later on my channel with the latest firmware. So subscribe. Peace.